Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Did you know that China is internationally acclaimed as the infrastructure maniac? This nickname isn't derogatory. It reflects the awe of the international community towards China's infrastructure construction capabilities. As one of the world's largest developing countries, China's infrastructure development has always been a crucial means to achieve economic and social progress. Chinese engineers are like superheroes in the construction field, passionately engaged in building large-scale projects to accommodate the country's ever-growing population. In this video, we will explore China's mega-engineering projects with you. But before we dive into showcasing these projects, we sincerely ask you to subscribe and enable notifications so you won't miss our exciting updates. We value your thoughts and invite you to share your views on these remarkable engineering achievements in the comments below. Firstly, let's learn about China's first large-scale engineering project, the Shantou Bay Undersea Tunnel. Once completed, this undersea tunnel holds great significance for the world. Since it's groundbreaking, this mega-project has garnered attention from many countries. American engineers also expressed skepticism, stating that China was merely boasting and that completing this project was fundamentally impossible. How did Chinese engineers overcome numerous challenges to construct this deep-sea high-speed rail? In recent years, China's reputation in international infrastructure has grown, earning it the title of infrastructure maniac. With the improvement of China's infrastructure technology, many countries around the world are seeking China's assistance in constructing large-scale projects. The Shantou Bay Undersea Tunnel is a crucial control project of the Shanshan Railway, with a design total length of 9,781 meters, featuring a single-tube double-line tunnel. As a sub-sea high-speed rail tunnel, it is designed to reach an astonishing speed of 350 kilometers per hour. Not only is this China's first sub-sea high-speed rail tunnel, but it is also the world's first. It is also an undersea high-speed rail tunnel in China constructed using large diameter tunnel boring machines. The construction of the Shantou Bay Undersea Tunnel is currently underway, officially starting on March 10, 2020. The 9.8-kilometer section is divided into sea and land segments, with the sea segment spanning 3 kilometers, and the maximum burial depth reaching 100 meters, being the world's first subsea high-speed rail tunnel with a depth exceeding 100 meters, its construction difficulty is unimaginable. The underwater tunnels are now quite common globally. Worldwide, there are more than 20. Existing underwater tunnel examples include the 50.5-kilometer channel tunnel between England and France, the 23.3-kilometer Saiken Tunnel in Japan, and the 6.7-kilometer underwater tunnel of the Hong kong Zhuhai macau Bridge. They are mainly distributed in countries and regions such as China, the United States, Japan, and Western Europe. However, only countries with strong engineering capabilities have sufficient funds and advanced technology to construct underwater tunnels. The construction of underwater tunnels is not a simple engineering project. It involves various construction methods, including the drilling and blasting method, which involves inserting explosives into boreholes for blasting, the shield tunneling method and the tunnel boring machine method, which are applicable to soft and hard rock respectively and the immersed tube method, which involves prefabricating tunnel sections and sinking them to the seabed. The construction process should adopt different methods according to different topography and geology. Apart from the basic tunnel construction, the Shantou Bay Undersea Tunnel faces its greatest challenge in its geographical location. Located in an active seismic zone, the tunnel crosses 17 fault zones, making the construction highly risky. Construction at depths of over 100 meters underwater presents complex geological challenges. The tunnel also traverses Shantou Bay, where strong winds, high waves, and unfavorable construction factors converge. Most of the tunnel is in a high water pressure risk zone, with the maximum water pressure reaching 1 megapascal. Under such water pressure, unforeseeable consequences could occur in the event of an accident. Therefore, the tunnel's structure must be capable of withstanding high water pressure penetration. Moreover, the marine segment not only faces high water pressure but also highly corrosive seawater, 
posing a severe test for any construction materials. Any technical issues could lead to unforeseeable risks. Additionally, the use of explosives for underwater blasting is not feasible in large rock areas. Many challenges press down on the construction team like a mountain. Furthermore, laying immersed tubes is not suitable for areas with strong currents, and damage to underwater rocks during excavation poses significant obstacles. It's no wonder Western engineers believe this to be an impossible undersea tunnel project. Why is the construction of the Shantou Bay Tunnel significant for China? This tunnel is the world's first high-speed railway deep-sea tunnel to exceed 100 meters in depth. Its depth surpasses the limit achievable by immersed tube tunnel construction technology, so China must use tunnel boring machines or traditional explosive excavation methods to complete the tunnel excavation. For this purpose, China manufactured a tunnel boring machine specifically for this project. This means that China now can excavate high-speed rail tunnels in deep seas. The tunnel boring machine, measuring 130 meters in total length and weighing 4,600 tons, with a cutter head diameter exceeding 15 meters and a cutter head weight of 570 tons, plays an indispensable role in propelling the entire project forward when operating at the seabed. With the cutter head equivalent to the height of a five-story building, the construction efficiency and operational capacity are highly effective. Two tunnel boring machines are advancing in the east and west lines of the seabed, and during excavation, they do not disturb the original structure of the seabed, nor do they pose a danger to construction personnel. In case of fault leakage during construction, the well-designed mechanics automatically block the tunnel using the piston principle, providing valuable time for the safe evacuation of construction personnel and safeguarding against potential hazards for continuing operations. Under the immense pressure of seawater, minor seepage may occasionally occur during construction. If not addressed promptly, these minor leaks could lead to significant seawater ingress problems. Hence, the challenges faced are diverse, requiring solutions to overcome and resolve various issues. During construction, targeted solutions are employed based on the diverse geological conditions detected by advanced equipment, addressing the varying difficulty of rock layers beneath the seabed. China's tunnel boring machines play a vital role in maintaining stability during excavation. They can transport crushed stones and sediments in the rear, improving efficiency and reducing the workload for underwater operation personnel, greatly ensuring the safety of the construction team and making the progress of the entire construction smoother and more efficient. As the Shantou Bay Tunnel is not only the world's first subsea high-speed rail tunnel but also the deepest undersea tunnel globally, its construction difficulty and associated risks are enormous. This is why American engineers consider China's Shantou Bay Undersea Tunnel one of the most unique and crucial modern tunnels globally. If China completes the construction of the Shantou Bay Undersea Tunnel, it will signify that China has mastered the capability of building cross-seat tunnels at depths exceeding 100 meters. Facing challenges such as ventilation and smoke exhaust difficulties, long construction periods, and extended evacuation and rescue times, the design team innovatively proposed a solution by setting up a service tunnel between the two main tunnels. The service tunnel serves as an emergency evacuation route during emergencies and a new air system for the main tunnels in normal situations, controlling the concentration of pollutants and solving the tunnel ventilation problem. This implies that China can build super tunnels capable of crossing large straits, similar to the Channel Tunnel. The construction of the Shantou Bay Undersea Tunnel marks a new milestone for China in undersea tunnel design and construction capabilities. This project is not only a feat in China's construction history but also a milestone in the global tunnel construction field. We will closely monitor the progress of this mega-project and extend our profound respect to the courage and innovative spirit of Chinese engineers. Well, that's all for today's video. Can Chinese engineers complete this mega engineering project in your opinion? If you enjoyed today's video, please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. If you'd like to learn more about mega projects in China or around the world, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Take care and goodbye.